Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post. I've got some very interesting products to talk about, so follow me as I take you on a journey. So first up, I've got these flush cutters to talk about. These are the flush cutters that we currently carry on the site right now, and we've got some complaints about them. They're not the highest quality flush cutter that we've found in the world. We now have these guys. These are very nice, very high quality flush cutters. We actually get these from the same um, distributor as our Hako irons. They've actually got a ground tip right here. They cut flush and they cut well. We actually use these down in the production environment and we can cut all day long with these. They do not dull. They're a very nice tool. Sometimes you don't always need the most expensive tool. Um, we include these more inexpensive ones in a lot of our kits and they're perfectly fine if you're doing a small volume of leads and you don't really need to clip all that much these are still pretty decent if you're using them every day you might not be so happy with these and you might want to step up to something like this so if any of you remember last week i made mention of a special announcement and this is the special announcement we have a new spark fun inventors kit or the sik um, we've been working on this for several months, basically revamping the old one and coming out with a new one. Um, there's a couple key differences between this one, but largely it does remain the same, just with a few different tweaks that we've made over time. So I'm going to open this up, tell you what the SIK is, for those of you that don't know, and show you the differences between this and the previous generations of the SparkFun Inventors Kit. So first up, you'll notice that there's a little bit of a package difference, and we actually do have a different case. With the old case, we actually had some issues with... Um, these latches doing that, and also this hinge on the back doing that. Um, we, you know, we had a lot of these that we ended up having to toss out or do returns on because it wasn't that durable. And also this plastic was um, snapping and cracking in shipment. Um, we've actually improved it to where we have this nice, really flexible plastic. And I can say I've actually thrown this thing against the wall a dozen times, and it does not break. Hey, Chris, check this out. Um, the hinges on the back are also a lot nicer and they will not snap and the latches are a lot easier to use. So whole new redesign case. Inside you'll notice that we're actually not using um, the Arduino Uno. We've actually switched over to our own SparkFun Redboard. Um, this does work pretty much the exact same way as the Uno. Um, the only real big difference is it has a mini B connector instead of the full B connector, but we do include that cable for you. This does have the same base plate that we had before. Um, this is a newer generation. If you're familiar with the older SIKs, um, this actually does use a couple of screws to actually screw the board down. The other difference with this new kit is it actually includes a liquid crystal display. This is your basic 16 by two display and it comes pre-soldered with the headers. This kit is largely a learning how to use Arduino and learning how to program kit, and it does not require soldering for anything. So if you don't have a soldering iron and just want to learn programming, this kit's great for you because there's no need to um, solder anything in this whole kit. We've got the bundle of jumper wires for all the breadboarding you're going to be doing. We've got the assortment of basic LEDs. We've got 10K and 330 ohm resistors. We've got the small servo that we're including in this as well. Shift register for controlling multiple things. We've got the slide potentiometer. We've got a flex sensor. We've got the buzzer. We've got some transistors. We've got a temperature sensor. We've got a light sensor. We've got a relay, a couple of push buttons, and a potentiometer. We've also got a couple of diodes, RGB LED, the breadboard, of course. And one of the complaints that we have with the previous generations was the DC motor that came in them. The old DC motor that we had was pff, like that big. I think it was about the size of this relay or so. And it really didn't do a whole lot. Um, it really wasn't powerful enough to do anything. Um, we did have a circuit in here that was just basically showing you how to simply drive a motor, but you really couldn't do a whole lot with it. It would just spin and that was about it. We're actually including a much bigger and much more powerful motor. Um, and this motor actually has a gear at the end of it. Theoretically, you could make this with something else and you could actually make something that would move. And if we flip this thing over, this is the big revised SIK manual. So this is the new manual. We have a lot of new graphics and it just, it looks a lot better and it's a lot easier to understand than the old one. What is the SIK? For anyone that's not familiar with it, um, you know, what is all of this? Well, the SIK is an introduction to Arduino and specifically an introduction to the programming language of Arduino. 
So with this guide, we step you through the basics of what is all this, what am I going to do with this, and then how to install the software or the IDE. That's what essentially programs the Arduino. So it tells you how to install it for all the different platforms and what the IDE is all about, what all the buttons do, how you use it. And then we even give you a download link so you can download all the code that we're going to use for this whole thing. And then we'll step you into what all the parts are so you can easily identify them. We'll label all the pins, show you how the breadboard works, and then you can start getting into building your first circuit. And this whole book contains 15 different circuits that use all the parts here. And so by the end of it, you can learn how to control an LCD, turn a servo motor, turn lights on and off, or use a relay, and do all the basics that you'd need to start delving into embedded programming and embedded hardware. There you have it, the SIK. So concludes our journey and another Friday new product post. Hopefully you like the new higher quality flush cutters and hopefully you like the new version of the SIK. Um, for a limited time, we're going to have the older version on sale. Um, what you see on the website is gonna be the last stock that we have. So if you wanna get one of the old ones on sale, go ahead and snatch that right now. Um, but if not, go ahead and check out the new SIK and we'll see you again next week with even more new products. The other big change that we have with this is we're actually now including a 16 by 2 character LCD display. 